Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were uh, not fighting these guys right now. Uh, we were, however, in the switchboard, grabbing the prototype. We got a couple weapons from out of here. And now we're moving on <laughs> to uh, try and get some info about the place. And uh, the prototype we're trying to grab because Deacon's being a little secretive about it. So, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that this one takes. See, when I was trying to record earlier, my uh, computer kind of shit the bed. So I'm hoping that I'm not going to deal with that again today. <laughs> anyway. Uh, section 1091 to 1092, okay. Okay. The PAM initiative is already bearing fruit. Foreign operatives report that the corrective measures employed in the Taiwan Strait region have already... I'm pretty sure that's not the correct strait. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Anyway. Have already greatly stabilized matters after the Pascal incident. Alright. The first few iterations of... Okay. Thank you for letting me know about my controller. <laughs> First few iterations of Pam's core code. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> I'm, I'm divided on keeping an eye on my computer and fucking the game. <laughs> At the same time. Alright. Uh, have increased the effectiveness of the program dramatically. But without drastic action, we're approaching a point of diminishing returns. Uh, of course you are. The team asks for double the funding for the upcoming fiscal year. With additional cutting-edge data banks, we can boost the processing power of PAM threefold. Additionally, the PAM initiative needs to be fully tapped into all military and civilian agency intelligence apparatus. The combination of these two spends... No, oh, sorry. Uh, the combination of these two spends should give us a decided edge against the Chinese. Well, here's hoping. Alright. June 19th. Pam, run the USSR China attack scenario. Processing. Query. What goal does entity chairman seek in this hypothetical set of facts? Conquest. Run program. Your answer does not follow... Uh, sorry. Does not logically follow. Uh, an ideal nuclear first strike scenario would still leave 59% uh, of the American nuclear stockpile free for retaliation. Pause it. You cannot conquer what is destroyed. Pam, Chairman Chang isn't always logical. He won't always make logical decisions. We've been over this. Warning, human variable results in a highly flawed statistical model. Pam, run the program. Warning, warning, emergency shutdown. Damn it, we've lost our power down. Did we get crash logs on that? Clearly, yes. Okay. So, they're trying to figure out what could go wrong if there's actually a war with China that eventually goes nuclear but uh their uh ai for that does not seem to uh want to do it at all at least not there because the whole problem of variables in the human condition is not easily quantified and they should have known that <laughs> all right could you repeat for the general what you just told me Posit. Chinese stealth technology far outstrips our own capabilities. Posit. The Chinese intelligence apparatus is sufficient to conceal large-scale research operations from American operatives. Conclusion. The Chinese have a 91% chance of having concluded, or ha rather, having conducted large-scale experimentation with stealth tech. Large-scale? What do you mean? What are their capabilities? American projects involving this technology, refer to Stealth Boy, have merely reverse-engineered captured Haiguai suits. I think I'm pronouncing that right. The underlying science of this technology is unknown, so the theoretical limits are also unknown. However, the so-called ghost fleet that Station A31 and B19 reported in November may indicate that testing has already commenced with submersible vessels. Dear God, you think they have stealth subs? A second order approximation is inconclusive. Explanation. The logic chain of these assumptions have too much variability. Further data is required. So you can't even give me a guess. Machine-human interface aborted. Sorry, sir, we're working on some of her glitches. Pam, 
Well, she gets real stubborn when she's doing too much guesswork. Stubborn? She's a machine. Sir, with each new version, well, she's getting quirky. There's no way I'm taking the stealth sub nonsense to the Joint Chiefs unless I have proof. It's goddamned ludicrous to think the Chinese have been working on something this big and we've heard nothing. Virtually no actionable intelligence has come out of the Shanxi province for 3.1 years. However, the province reports a spike in the imports of complex polymers and other key synthetic compounds. The quantity in question is consistent with stealth technology research on a, the macro scale. Until you can give me something concrete, I don't want to hear another goddamned words about this. Well! Still, that is something that should be concerning enough to at least bring it up. At least put the possibility out there. I don't know why you need concrete proof. You can say it's conjecture. You can say it's guesses, but, I mean, there's there's still a lot of things that are pointing to this is probably a thing. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. That, it seems like, it seems like they're too busy trying to get the most out of a machine that they know isn't going to be able to do what they want. All right. There it is. Go ahead. Unplug the cables. She's clear. What's the data integrity at? We can't tell until we boot her up. Initiating machine human interface. Jesus, she's working. The numbers are looking good. Commencing analysis of this geographical point in space. She's actually in there. I can't believe we're doing this. After what she pulled off in July, I hear she may be sent over to the White House. Assessment complete. Greetings, Dr. Mai and Dr. Ram Ramarajan. <laughs> I, I didn't read that right the first time. Dr. Omarajan. The interface is really coming along. When she runs it. Have you seen how many cycles Malcolm is using for it? Pam, perform primary function. DEFCON is currently at 3. The odds of the alert state increasing this month are 12%. In order to increase gro uh, global, global stability, a diverse set of detailed strategies must be adopted. I'll let the general know that Pam's mobile. So Pam's been put into a mobile setup. Which I assume means a robot? Huh. Well, let's get into this. Maybe we'll find something out. Or not. Probably not. <laughs> let's be honest here. Alright, um... This is probably just to open up other things. Um... Maybe reach? No. But we still have one that's matching. Maybe the H. Let's find out. Uh, yabba dabba do. That's not it. Maybe C. Peace. That's it. Hey, there we go. Open doors. Don't know what's uh. Have at it. I never liked messing with this technical crap. Well, uh, good thing I'm good at it then. All right. Bobby pins. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Oops, dog meat. You're in the way. Anything over here? Yes. It's a nuke cola. Whoops. Didn't mean to pick up that pipe pistol. Especially since it's worthless to me. But. Yeah, let's just drop that. There we go. Back into the drawer it goes. That's kind of funny how it ended up right back where I grabbed it from. Okay. Scalpel. I could use a scalpel. Use the steel from it anyway. Alright. Now to continue on, since we learned enough about Pam, to assume maybe this is the prototype that they were working on. Working on, quote, unquote. It seems like it was already made long before the railroad uh, actually took up residence here. Hi there! Fuck. You. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. It, well, I mean, it's a robot, Kate. It's kind of hard for it to hurt. I mean, it might. I'm just saying. Spare robot parts are worth their weight in gold, I'm just saying. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. There we go. Got it. Let's reload real quick. Of course you like that. 
Ooh, fusion core. I take. Mine now. Okay. Okay, come on. Uh oh. Beatrice Bell. Just power up the elevator, you say? That's all I need to do? Then we're done? Maybe this terminal will lead to that. Yep. Diverting power to elevator. Complete. That was quick. Quick and easy. Isn't there a turret? I get turret control for something, so. Alrighty. Well. This is gonna be really cramped. <laughs> I'm hoping that everyone goes up with us. <laughs> because I don't know. Well, there's Deacon. Did I? Did I finish the whole thing? Did I get the thing and I just didn't notice it? Um... I'm not sure what to think. It felt like all I did was grab the, uh, grab the deliverer and then left. Well, I guess we got the thing. All right. Meet Deacon at Old North Church. All right. Well, you go on ahead. Figure out where the fuck Kate went. Kate! Damn it, girl, where'd you go? We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. Alright. Was all of that worth it? All I know is that Des authorized the op. Okay. Let's hope we didn't go through all that for the new coffee maker. Mm. See you soon. You're not telling me anything other than that? Even though the info I got was about a PAM unit that was apparently very sophisticated. Goofy, but sophisticated. Oh, there's Kate. Hi there, Kate. All right. Well, that was less than enlightening. Not much less, but less. Okay. Dog meat found what? What do you find, doggo? Let's follow the pupper. Let us follow the pupper. Where's it going? Oh. Hey. Hey. Well, you kind of grabbed the thing. So, could you... Yep, there it is. Okay. Take the rounds. Ooh, free war money. I'll take that. Yeah. You keep saying that. Um, that can't be good. Probably shooting at Deacon. I'm torn on whether I should help. <laughs> so on one hand, I know that Deacon can handle himself. On the other hand, I kind of want the loot. Super Duper Mart. We were this close to the Super Duper Mart? Also, I didn't have the Super Duper Mart unlocked. Huh. Okay. I did not have this done at all. Okay, then. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Okay. I was hoping I could take him down in one shot, but apparently it's not going to happen. All right. Fuck, he keeps moving. I can't track him if he's moving like that. Well, got that shot off. 
Man, the light on his head is kind of helping track him, but not much. Son of a bitch. I just want to put down the raider. Man, why has he got to be wearing power armor and shit? Oh, hi there. There you are. And that did it. Hey, hey. Might as well pop this out. For anything close by. You had a fat man. Why did you have a fat man? I'll take that just to break it down, but... Why did you have a fat man? Out of all things. Sheesh. That could have that could have ended up dirty. If uh <laughs> if I didn't take him out quickly. Oh yeah! I forgot that I installed this mod. <laughs> it makes the feral ghouls a little more uh feral-y. <laughs> and gross. I kind of wanted to see how it looked. And, uh, it's, it's definitely something. Alright. Cool, now I got to see it. First hand. It's always cool. Why do I keep doing that? Ah, there's the feral girls. I was trying to figure out where they were sitting. I figured... Okay. I figured something would have gone after me at some point. Huh. Alrighty then. Just that feral ghoul sitting there. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because, uh, yeah, I know it's short, but I had been dealing a lot of, a lot with my computer problems and that ate up most of my recording time. So quite frankly, I need the shorter time to make sure that I can do the shit I need to do. So... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games. And, well, finally getting the fucking thing that we went into the switchboard to get. Even though I was not told, oh, nor was I shown what we actually got. I'm assuming it has something to do with Pam, even though I don't really see any Pam unit whatsoever for you.